Lesson 1, Parts. Create your first SOLIDWORKS model. In this lesson, we're going to create this simple part. It includes a base feature, a boss, a cut, some fillets, and a shell feature to hollow it out. To begin, we'll create a new part. Click OK. Let's save our part. I'll save it as Tutor 1. Next we'll create the base. It will have dimensions 120 by 120 by 30. To create this feature, select the Extruded Boss Base command. Why start with the Extrude command? In order to create a sketch base feature, such as an extrude, revolve, or cut, you either have to select the command first, and then create a sketch, or you can create a sketch first and then select the command. To begin our extrude feature, we'll select the front plane to place a sketch on that plane. Next click on the corner rectangle tool. Hover your cursor over the origin. If the origin does not highlight, you may need to change a snap setting in your system options. Click on the origin. Move your cursor up and to the right. The exact size of the rectangle doesn't matter since we'll be placing dimensions on it in a moment. Click again. And next we'll turn off the corner rectangle tool by using any of the following options. In most cases, I'll simply press escape on my keyboard, which I'll do now. The corner rectangle we drew contains sketch relations. This line is horizontal, this line is vertical, and this corner is coincident to the origin. Also, some lines are black and some are blue. Black lines you cannot drag. However, lines that are blue, you can drag and move them around. They are underdefined. The same applies to endpoints. Next, we'll dimension the rectangle so it looks more like this. Start with the Smart Dimension tool. Select the top line. Move your cursor up and click again key in 120 and press enter. The entire sketch scales to match this first dimension. Click zoom to fit. Next, repeat the steps for the right edge. Click on the line, click again, 120, enter. And select zoom to fit once again. Next, let's exit the sketch. When you do this, the view changes to a trimetric, so we can see the preview. Key in 30 for the depth, and click OK. You can use Z on the keyboard to zoom out, or Shift Z to zoom in. However, you might prefer to use the scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Try this now. If you get lost, use F on your keyboard to do a zoom to fit. Also, Boss Extrude 1 was created in the tree, and underneath it you'll find the sketch if you ever need to make edits to these. Next we'll add a circular boss with a diameter of 70 and a depth of 25. This time we'll begin by selecting the front face of our base, and then selecting the Extruded Boss Base feature. This puts us in a sketch mode on that face. Let's go normal to the sketch. I'll select the view orientation drop down and select normal too. Click on the circle tool and place a circle near the center of the face. Move your cursor away and click again. And now we'll add dimensions. Click on the smart dimension tool. Click on the circle. Move your cursor up and to the right. Click again. 70. Enter. Next, we'll constrain the position of the boss to be 60 from the top and 60 from the right. Since my Smart Dimension tool is still active, I'll select the circle and the top edge, and then I'll move my cursor to the left and place this dimension, 60, Enter, and I'll repeat this same series of steps by clicking on the circle and the right edge. Move my cursor down, 60, Enter. Next, we'll exit the sketch. 
to see the preview better, we'll change to a trimetric view. Key in 25 for the depth. If you click in the open space, you'll see the preview update and click OK. Boss Extrude 2 now appears in the Feature Manager tree. Next we'll make a hole cut. The radius of the hole is 10 millimeters less than the radius of the boss. This time we'll select the Extruded Cut command first and then we'll click on the front face of the boss. This places us on a sketch on that front face. Select Normal 2. And now we'll draw a circle. Hover your cursor over this edge. The center point lights up. Click on the center point. Move your cursor away. Click again. And now we'll add a smart dimension of 50. Click Exit Sketch. Switch to a trimetric view. and we'll set the end condition to through all and click OK. Next we'll add a few fillets. On the outer edges will be 5 millimeters. Also this edge here will be 5 millimeters. And on these edges it'll be 1.5 millimeters. Let's start with the fillet tool. Select the front face of the base careful not to accidentally grab one of the back edges. Set the radius to 5 and select full preview. Now let's select the other four edges here, here, and then the other two. Notice that you can select through the front face to grab this back edge. If you make a mistake selecting any of these faces or edges you can remove them from this list on the left. Click OK when finished. Next we'll add a fillet to the front face of the boss. Select the fillet tool. Set the radius to 1.5. Select the face of the boss. To see the preview better, we'll use zoom to selection. This tool is not visible unless you activate the view toolbar or if you go to the view pull down under modify. Select this tool and it zooms to fit on the face that's selected. This preview looks OK. Click the green check. Next we'll hollow the part out and remove the back face with the shell command. Let's view the back face of the model. In order to rotate the view Hold down the middle mouse button on your cursor and move your cursor around. Do a zoom to fit. Select the back face and select the shell tool. Type in two millimeters for the thickness and click OK. This command removes the selected face and leaves a two millimeter thickness on all the other faces. Next, we'll take a closer look at this shell thickness by changing to a section view. First, select Trimetric. Next, we'll click on Section View and select the top plane. Drag the arrow upward, maybe about here, and then click OK. We can rotate and zoom to look at the sectioned region to observe the thickness. Turn off the section view command by clicking the button again and select save to save our model. Next we'll make a few edits to our model. We'll increase the depth, modify the edge fillets, and recreate the face fillets. First we'll change the depth of the base from 30 to 50 We'll change to our trimetric view once again. Double click on Boss Extrude 1 in the feature tree. This will show you the sketch dimensions and the 
feature depth. Double click on the 30, key in 50, and hit enter. The geometry of the part does not update until you select the rebuild button. After rebuilding, click save. Next I'd like to change just these corner fillets from 5 millimeters to 10 millimeters, but I'd like to keep the face fillets at 5 millimeters. In order to do this, I'll have to break the fillet feature up into two separate fillet features. Right click on fillet 1 and select edit feature. Under the items to fillet list, right click on face 1 and then select delete. The fillets on that face are removed. Next, change the radius to 10 millimeter and click OK. Next, I'd like to recreate the fillets that were on the face. Since I'd like these fillets also to be shelled, I should drag the rollback bar up above the shell feature before I add this next fillet. Next, I'll select the fillet tool. I'll select this face, key in 5, and click OK. If you rotate your view at this point, You'll see your part is not shelled. Drag the rollback bar down, and now it's shelled with the internal fillet. Finally, let's add a realistic appearance to our part. Instead of shaded with edges, change it to shaded. Make sure Real View Graphics is enabled. You may not see this option if you don't have a certified graphics card or driver combination. Visit the system requirements on the SOLIDWORKS website for more information. Finally, edit the material of the part. Right click on material and select edit material. And select chrome stainless steel from the list of steels. Select apply and close. And you're finished. Thank you.